Alright, I'm back with uh, chapter 30 about the altar of incense. It says, it says uh, you shall make an altar on which to burn incense. You shall make it of acacia wood. A cubit shall be its length, and a cubit its breadth. It shall be square, and two cubits shall be its height. Its horn shall be of one piece with it. You shall overlay it, you shall overlay it with pure gold. Its top and around its sides and its horns. You shall make a molding of gold around it. You shall make two golden rings for it. Under its molding, on two opposite sides of it, shall make them, and they shall be holders for poles with which to carry it. Shall make the poles of the cave wood and overlay them with gold. Shall put it in front of the veil that is above the ark of the testimony, in front of the mercy seat that is above the testimony, where I will meet with you. And Aaron shall burn fragrant incense on it. Every morning when he dresses the lamps, he shall burn it. And when Aaron sets up the lamps at twilight, he shall burn it. A regular incense offering before the Lord throughout your generations. You shall not offer unauthorized incense on it, or a burnt offering, or a grain offering. And you shall put, and you shall not pour a drink offering on it. Aaron shall make atonement on its horns once a year, with the blood of the sin of the offering of atonement. You shall make an atonement for it once in the year throughout your generations. It is the, it is the most holy to the Lord. The census tax. The Lord said to Moses, When you take the census of the people of Israel, then each shall give a ransom for his lot to the Lord. When you number them, that there be no plague among them when you number them. Each one who is numbered in the census shall give this, half a shekel, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The shekel is twenty geras. Half a shekel is an offering to the Lord. Everyone, is, everyone who is numbered in the census from twenty years old and upper shall give the Lord's offering. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less. Then, then that says, uh, then the half shekel. When you get the Lord's offering to make atonement for your lives, shall, you shall take the atonement money from the people of Israel, and, sh and shall give it for the service of the tent of offer, or the tent of meeting, that it may bring the people of Israel to remembrance for the Lord, so as to make atonement for your lives. The bronze brace or the bronze basin. The Lord said to Moses, You shall also make a basin of bronze and with a stand of bronze for washing. You shall put it between the tent of meeting and the altar, and you, sh and you shall put sh and you shall put water in it, with which Aaron and his sons shall p wash their hands and their feet when they go to the tent of meeting, or when they come near the altar to minister to burn a food offering to the Lord. They shall wash them with water so that they may not die. They shall wash their hands and their feet so that they may not die. It shall be a statute or a rule forever to them, even to him and to his offspring throughout their generations. The anointing oil and incense. The Lord said to Moses, Take the finest spices of liquid myrrh, 500 shekels, and a sweet smelling cinnamon, half as much, that is 250 and 250 of aromatic cane, and 500 of cassia, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, and a, and a, and a hen of the olive oil, and you shall make of these a sacred anointing oil blended, as by the as by the perfumer. It shall be a holy anointing of oil. With it you shall anoint the tent of meeting and the ark of the testimony, and the table and all its utensils, and the lampstand and its utensils, and the altar of incense, and the altar of burnt offering with with all its utensils, and the basin and its stand. It shall you shall consecrate them that they may be most holy. Whatever touches them will become holy. You shall anoint Aaron his sons and consecrate them, that they may serve me as priests. You shall say to the people of Israel, This shall be my holy anointing oil throughout your generations. It shall not be poured on the body of the, of the ordinary person. It shall make no other like it in, in, uh, in compassion or composition. It is holy, and it shall be holy to you. Whoever, com whoever compounds any like it, or whoever puts any of it on, on an outsider, shall be cut off from this people. The Lord said to Moses, Take sweet spices, state, and anaka, and galbanum, sweet spices with pure frankincense, of each shall be or of it says, of each shall there be an equal part, and make an incense blended as by the perfumer, seasoned with salt, pure and holy. And it says that you shall beat some of it very small, and put part of it before the testimony in the tent of meaning, where I shall meet with you. It shall be most holy uh, for you, and the incense that you shall make according to its composition, and you shall not make for yourselves, it shall be for you holy to the Lord. 
whoever makes any like it it says, uh, whoever makes any like it to use as perfume should be cut off from his people. So, of course, God is taking this very seriously about the whole, conse the whole consecration process and also by the altars and all that, the census tax, the bronze base, and the anointing oil and incense. And God, God's taking this you know, seriously, of course. And he's saying if any outsider you know, comes, in t and comes into this, that he should be cut off. So it says, um, it has a, little, has a picture here of the altar of innocence. It says the altar of innocence, the wooden altar overlaid with pure gold, was three feet high and about two feet long and wide. It stood in the most, it stood in the holy place before the, the veil which separated the holy place from the most holy place. It was transported by me, by means of wooden poles which were overlaid with gold and inserted through rings attached to the sides of the altars. And this is what the altar of innocence looked like. You can see this right there. That's what I look like. Yeah, not very tall at all. But uh, you know that's the altar of innocence. So um, next will be the uh, chapter 21. Talks about Ohalub and Bezalel. I'll get to that shortly. Be right back.